In today's episode, we work over at the base and build our wither map here on the Ripple Effect. Hello everybody, I'm Carl Rides and welcome to episode 11 from season 3 on the Ripple Effect server. You join me over here at the base where we'll be working in today's episode. I want to show you a couple of changes I've made to the iron farm. First of all, I've replaced the iron bars with chains because I think they more represent an iron farm than the than the iron bars did because uh, we're going to be using the iron bars design a little bit later on. I've also uh, been in here and added in this grindstone for our lever worker because apparently villagers cannot access point of interest blocks that are one block off the ground, even though, you know, that's their eye line. So that makes sense, I guess. But I've also changed up this area a little bit as well and removed the minecart that was there and added in a crafting table. For when I'm crafting up iron blocks and things like that, I need one of those in here. But I'm really happy with how this came out in the last episode. Speaking of the iron bars design that was on here, you may have noticed these buildings over here and one of them has a sugarcane design which is very, very similar to the iron bars. That's why I changed them out for chains over there. So this is going to be our sugarcane building because as you can see in my hotbar, I am running out of rockets and also all the maps that I need to make for the maps district and things like that. I need a lot of sugarcane. So this is where the farms are going to be. It's going to be a Tango Tech design, and I'll leave a link to that in the cards and the video description. They're going to flow under here into a shulker loader, come up here through the tube, which goes out here, through the side of the building, and into the side of our new building right here as well. So that hole is on the other side of this and it'll go under the floor, through a drop of air, and into this barrel right here. So this is going to be our library. This is where our librarians will be. As you can see, I've brought the uh, Feather Falling and Depth Strider librarian over here already. He's in a boat because I don't want him walking around while I'm working in here. Uh, but these are our bookshelves, we've got some ladders on here, we've got some looms, uh, which give a nice sort of, it's not perfect, but it gives sort of a empty bookshelf kind of vibe, which I really like. We've got the spruce trap doors, a uh, bit of red, bit of colour in here as well. I love the design here, and obviously the lecterns, which I put a couple of books on just to which are actually ender ender passes, <laughs> just to make it look like they've got something on them. So this is where we'll be storing our gunpowder, which of course we get from our gas farm over on the Never Roof. We also have a lever in here, which we'll get from our hoglin farm, also on the Never Roof. And, you know, enchanted books will go in here. We'll have normal books as well and paper for making up our rockets. So I think this place looks really good and I think it's going to be really functional as well. Now you guys don't need to see me build a sugarcane farm. You've seen loads of people build sugarcane farms. So I'm going to grab the resources. I'm going to build up the farm. And while I do that, I'm going to send you guys over to the maps district where we met up with Duds Versus. Mr. Duds Versus, welcome to the maps district. Yes, I've been waiting You've been waiting because I've had podcasts to edit. That's why you've been waiting. Hang on. <laughs> Gotta sweep. Gotta sweep. Gotta sweep. Break his bread. Yeah. Break I've watched way too many B double O episodes lately. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Actually, that's probably better because it's going to be a lot closer to my actual base. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll go to the shopping district now, won't you? <laughs> yeah. So, what's, what's the plan for your map area? Black. Black. Cool. You know, <laughs> you know, straight up paint it black. I've already forgot the band. What's the band name? I listened to this song two weeks ago. No idea. Who sings <laughs> paint it black? 
<laughs> people no, in the can't. comments are gonna be ripping on me guys as soon as i hit the stop recording button the name will pop up into my head oh yeah i'll probably put it on the screen right now <laughs> he'll he'll say it as soon as he presses stop in a me minute. and jimbo do this all the time during the podcast we'll be like eh, we know that and then we're like oh wait hang on we don't know that crap <laughs> and then as soon as we hit stop recording and leave the call it's like it was this <laughs> Even I'm shouting at you while editing. I'm like, it's yeah. obviously this, jeez. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, anyways, so yeah. the first map, there's going to be two maps here. The first one's going to be an all-black one to fix my uh, zombie piglin trap, which cool. works perfectly. Those guys, like, can pathfind through the walls. Nice. Which is really nice. So, yeah, no zombie piglins walking around my base. The next one, I'm going to do a logo. Very which will be a little bit tougher. Yeah. And then we've got the the the, the one logo we all have to do. Yeah. We, over there. We should get on that. I'm going to say the next week we should do that. Hey, I, I've done my part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I, I mean, we do need another shulker box space, but I could do that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Can't get no respect. <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> I, I will admit, I think out of the three iron farms, mine's the most efficient. It doesn't produce as fast, mm. but I think it's the most efficient. Well, I have, I want to say, seven shulker boxes of iron ingots at the moment. From mm -hmm, mine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Yours is mm -hmm. probably faster. <laughs> I, ha I have eight double chests of iron ingots. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. You, you could do the other shulker box. Right? <laughs> uh, I had a shulker box full of iron somewhere. Yeah, that shulker box halfway full of iron blocks. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, we've got the iron for the job. Nice. We Jimbo's yeah. got the stone. Jimbo's got the stone. And I've got the carpet. Yeah, and if you guys haven't figured out what we're going to be doing by now... You don't deserve to know early. Yeah, we're not we're not going to show you because it should be obvious. <laughs> Even though it's been in like the last three episodes for me, just and, glancing at and it, and probably the last three episodes for me as well as the one came out today as we're recording. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So all I need from you is uh, 20, 20 diamonds. Twenty? I thought it was ten. Twenty. Okay, five. Twenty, because I have to give Croc ten. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Crocklet. I know, right? <laughs> there you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. No this worries. is gonna help my OCD a lot. Staring at that one patch of blue, yeah, in my walls have been driving me crazy. <laughs> you come through your never portal, and you just catch it out the corner of your eye. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, but it's like ah, oh. you, you know but it's I'm there actually, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually streaming in like 20 minutes, and that's gonna be the stream. Is putting down a bunch of black. Nice carpet nice. for now. All right, it's well, be a walkie talkie episode. I will leave you to that. Uh, have fun. Thank you, sir. No worries. See you in a bit. We're over here at the shopping district where Duds has been over here and done some landscaping around it. Phantom piano landscaping around the area, which is looking amazing. And these roads as well are looking really cool. So we are over here to look in the wall shop so first off i need to give croc his share of things so i'm going to move link up there so we need to give him a cut for the duds map that we just did and a cut for the orbney map as well so he gets half of those diamonds and let's see if we've got any sales we have so nine Shall I be nice and give him the five? <laughs> there you go, Croc. I'll give you the five. And I'll, I'll keep the four there. Why not? Uh, we also, I believe, have some over at the Withering Effect Studios. So if we come down here into our little area, we have 24. So we've got 28 there. So that is cool. Put those in there. And we've also sold some beacons, so let's put these uh, downstairs and divide up the diamonds. So Tuds has got more diamonds over here, and Jimbo has some there as well. And I've got my eight to add to 
the ones that I had from before. 36 diamonds. So we spent 20 and got 36 back. And there we have it. The sugarcane farms are in. As I said before, this is a design by Tango Tech. So it's a lossless design. It pushes the sugarcane into the iron bar. It falls down into this water stream, down into this water stream, down under the ground here into a shulker loader and up this drop of ATA. If I want to turn the farm off, I've added these levers here that just push the pistons into the middle that stop the sugarcane growing. So I can turn this farm off if I need to. We'll fill this back up and we'll go and have a look at the shulker loader. So we come down into here and this is the same shulker loader that I used over at the iron farm. So we put the shulkers in there and the flow through to here and when this gets full it breaks it and goes down into the floor here and into the drop of air you saw upstairs. It then comes along this water stream, down into the ground, up a drop of ATA that's under here, and into here. We already have a box of sugarcane here, which I've already taken some out of to make some rockets. Uh, but the system is working, so that is really good. I've also been over to the Christmas area and bred up some villagers. So we have our Feather Falling and Depth Strider villager. We also have a Unbreaking Free villager and a mending villager as well. I might get one or two more. I, like I say, I don't want to have too many villagers in my base. There's three in here, there's three in the iron farm. So for now, that will do. I've also started to lay out some roads. I'm not going to build any up yet um, until we've got some more buildings in place. But this is a good start on the road layout. And I've also got this big map here as well. As you can see, the little icons on top of the buildings really help from this view as well. And I can get a better idea of the road design. I also stole a little idea from Duds about having a to-do list. So we've done the sugarcane farm, so we can actually cross that off. Uh, Never portal, town square, bridge, bookshop, which we've done as well. Super smelter, potion room, bedroom, storage room, bulk storage, never tunnel, which I'm working on at the moment. It's a long, long tunnel, that one, but uh, I'm getting good progress on it. And a mine area. So that's just a few that I've got on the list. Because we've done our iron farm, villager breeder, bartering farm, gold farm, gas farm, and hoglin farm. But now we are going to head back to the maps district to meet up with Duds and Jimbo as we have a map to build. You guys ready to? Yes, sir. Get to <laughs> whoa, 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 what? whoa, 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 What's right. going on? What are, we, what are we building? We're building the Withering Effect logo map. Look at how beautiful it is. Let's get a look from the sky. I can see my black map from here. <laughs> Which is supposed to be a dead set. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get there someday. Okay, so we're just filling in with the blocks you've already placed, correct? Yep, so stone pressure plates light gray carpet gray carpet and iron pressure plates and then we should have right. a nice map at the end of it so i've got all the iron pressure plates taken care of i have carpet i got the stone there you go Sh should we get to it let's get to it let's go yeah better here get started
Well, guys, this looks great. It looks. I like how Jimbo's trying to be serious, and we're just like, bleh. Bleh. Hey, that's it. Drought. It does. Yeah, this looks cool. It looks amazing, but it really does. I think it even looks better from the sky here. Yeah. With all these pressure plates. Looks so cool. Look it at really that. is insane. But the only thing that throws me off is when it blends into Avni's map. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same material. We've got a walrus let's, mark connected to our... Let's wibble. change his map. <laughs> let's put like stuff on his map. Well, we've got a load of lime green, if that would help. No, no more lime green. <laughs> that green screen map, and then I did an all black map. I'm, I'm done with single colors. <laughs> nah, this is so cool. Love it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think that's going to do us for the Wither map. We'll get this in the studio and start doing some stuff from there. Yup. While we are over here at the Maps District, I want to show you this tunnel that I've been putting together over the last few days. So I've made it into sort of an art gallery between the small Minecraft paintings and our maps as well. I've also added in soul soil, so if we're using our soul speed boots, we can get through here really, really quick. Now that we have our wither map done, it's time to head over to the shopping district and put it up for sale. And there we have it. The map is now in stock. So three diamonds for wither map, three diamonds for a green screen map, if any of the ripplets want to create their own green screens like we have downstairs. So they can buy a map and then copy it for their own personal use. That's awesome. I've also put up the river maps here on the building itself as well. So on either side of this little sticky out sign thing, we've got the uh, maps there. So as you come around the corner, you see the, the map. I think that looks really good with the uh, fence gate and the carpet on top there. Um, yeah, I think that looks really cool. The map has also been updated here in the studio upstairs as well, so hopefully we're making some content from here very, very soon. But that's going to do us for today. We have got a lot done in this episode. We built up our sugarcane farm, we got two new buildings, we did the withering effect map, loads of progress made. If you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.